All right, I'm John Ferguson, and here is our 1978 Bali Star Trek pinball machine. So, uh, it doesn't work anymore, and what happened is the main MCU board is bad, completely shot. We can't buy a new one. So, what we plan on doing is rebuilding this pinball machine and digitizing it with a Raspberry Pi. So, that's going to need several things, the most important of which is going to be I2C communication with some MCP23017 chips. So, that, that'll be in a later video. So what I'm going to talk about now is kind of our goals, what we're going to do, and how we're going to do it. So, you come over here and zoom in, right here. These are going to be how we score points. These are pop bumpers. The way these work is as the ball comes through, it's going to hit this little pad here. And that connects a circuit telling the machine that it needs to bring this metal bar down and throw the ball away. Also, as you can see, each time you hit it, you're going to score 100 points. So, what we need to do is we need to hook these up to the Raspberry Pi, let the Raspberry Pi know when it is activated, and have the Raspberry Pi bring that thing down and keep a running total. What we're also going to do is we're going to add a score multiplier for each time you activate all three within a certain time limit you'll get a times two times three times five score multiplier to get a higher score. Uh, also since this machine pretty much doesn't work at all. You plug it in and only the lights come on. We're also going to have to wire our own flipper circuit to control the flippers. We're going to have to wire our own start button and activate the ball release which lives under here. And pretty sure that's about it. So let's go ahead and take a look underneath the here. show you how some of this stuff works. So, first of all, here are our three pop bumpers here. I know it's going to be really hard to see, but these little connectors, actually when they come down, I don't know if you can zoom in on this guy right here. When I hit this button, it's completing this circuit. So we've got two wires coming in, and all we're going to do is we're going to get 3.3 volts in. Whenever it connects it, it connects it to ground, and that's going to go to the Raspberry Pi. So the Raspberry Pi is going to know whenever this connector is hit and the ball comes around. Then what we're going to do is we're going to activate one of these transistors here through the Pi. And what this is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to take the 3.3 volts coming out of the Raspberry Pi and turn it into the 50 volts to activate these solenoids. Now for the flippers, you'll notice there's a difference here, say, between this flipper here for a slingshot. This has two nodes. If you look up here, for the flipper, it has three nodes. Now this is actually a really impressive piece of uh, engineering from way back when. What this does is whenever you activate the flipper, it has two separate coils inside of this solenoid. When you first hit it, it's a high amperage coil that you don't want it when somebody holds the button down. You don't want that running for a long time or you'll burn out the solenoid or anything else could happen. So what happens is when it opens, it opens this connection right here. What this allows the solenoid to do is use the other wrap, which is a low amperage, so you can sit here and hold this all day and it's not going to get hot and it's not going to burn out the solenoid. So, for these solenoids to work, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the 50 volts from the transformer, connect it to our two hots, Take this to the ground, to the button connection down here. And whenever someone hits the button, it'll complete the connection to ground. So whenever you hit the button, it'll fire that solenoid. 
So uh, that's kind of an overview of everything we're going to need to do for this machine. So we'll have several more videos, kind of a how-to on each part, and we'll keep you all updated. Thanks.